Hi, I'm Kevin D. I'm the co-founder and designer at Evergoods. Uh, today I'd like to talk about our Civic Half Zip Series, or CHZ. This is the CHZ 22, it's a 22 liter bag, and we also make the CHZ 26. This is the 26 liter size. These bags are identical as far as features, so just for the purposes of this video, I'm just, we're just gonna focus on Half Zip 22. Everything that I say uh, about Half Zip 22 applies equally to Half Zip 26. So the Civic Half Zip was Evergood's take on a just simple, straightforward, single cavity day bag. Uh, we wanted this bag to be real straightforward, easy to use, and have just enough organization to kind of keep things in place, but just be real simple. There's a top handle across the top, so you can grab it, pluck it out of a vehicle trunk or wherever. Uh, on, the, on each side of this handle, we're left a little, little space, uh, sort of a utility loop here. You could clip a carabiner here to attach something just kind of quickly. If you're sitting on a park bench, you could stuff a pen here real quick while you're getting something else and then grab it. Uh, just forward of this handle, uh, there's a yoke pocket right here along the top. Uh, this is a great place to keep items up high. I've got glasses in a case here. Uh, there's also a key leash inside so you can keep your keys uh, handy and easy to get at. Uh, snacks, anything that you just want to be able to grab quickly. Uh, so on each side of the bag, we have these side stretch pockets. Uh, they're made of two layers of really durable stretch woven. Stretch woven starts at the bottom, it comes up and it rolls over and goes back down the other side. Uh, so there's not uh, stitching up here that will break or abrade. These pockets are sized to fit a one liter Nalgene bottle. Um, at the top of the pocket, in between the two layers, captured between the layers is a, is a run of one inch elastic. So that gives the top a little bit of uh, body. It's easy to grab. Uh, down below at the center bottom, there's a pleat that expands to add volume for big things like this bottle. Um, also this elastic up top, when you remove items, it just kind of brings the pocket back uh, against the side body of the bag, just keeps it low profile and out of the way. And then also in the bottom corners of the pocket, there, we just left little cutouts here. Uh, if dirt or debris falls in here, water gets in here, that stuff can just passively escape out the corners of these. And, there, and these pockets are on both sides of the bag. And for those of you that own uh, our Cap One accessory, this, uh, this also fits well in there. Nice and easy. Let's look inside the bag. The main opening is a number 10 RC zipper from YKK. It has a DWR finish for weather resistance. This is the half zip. So it goes halfway around the main body of the bag and it just hinges open so that you can see the load easily, but still kind of contains it so that stuff doesn't spill out. Um, we, worked, we worked a lot on this zipper line so that it would be smooth. You can do it with one hand. You can do it while you're holding the bag. Um, the angle here is the key to making this work really well. Uh, the lining of the bag is a standard gray color for increased visibility inside. And there's a, a couple of pockets in the top area of this lid. First, there's a nice security pocket with good volume. Uh, this is just a place to kind of grab things easily. I've got a first aid kit and a notebook in here. Also got a headlamp in here. Uh, it's opaque. You could keep money, passport, anything that you just wanted to keep secure. It's nice that it's up high also. Uh, you know, you don't have to open the bag all the way. You could just kind of peek in from the top here and get at this without opening the bag all the way. Um, below that then, we there's a mesh pocket. This mesh pocket has quite a bit of volume as well, it can expand. Uh, in order to not conflict underneath here with this volume, we, we put the zipper kind of on the bottom side, but it, so it's accessible when the, when the panel is open. Um, so yeah, it's just for little things. I got some headphones and a pen and some chapstick. We'll just unload this so we can see inside here a little easier. I've got a cap two pouch in here, just a jacket, got a charger kicking around in here. Um, as I said, the, the main cavity of this bag, it's just one open thing. Good access, good visibility, a little bit of organization, but not overly complicated. This is just a simple grab and go bag. Um, along the back panel is the, uh, there's a sleeve for a laptop or a document. This is a 16 inch MacBook Pro. So this sleeve again is a similar construction to the side pockets. It's two layers of stretch woven. 
In between those uh, layers of stretch woven is a little bit of foam so that it protects the, your device inside your computer if you've got other stuff banging around inside the bag. Um, so this pocket stretches a bit. So I'm, it's patterned so that it is low profile and stays close against the back panel of the bag if it's not in use. It stretches so that it can expand. And then also the seams where it's sewn in, they're kind of an elliptical shape. Um, this also helps the pocket to expand and also then allows uh, the, the back panel of the bag to flex and move while you carry it so that you don't feel like a stiff board on your back uh, if you're carrying a computer. So this patterning and shaping uh, keeps the bag comfortable and ergonomic um, even with a computer on board. Uh, lastly, we just put a little row of utility loops up high here. Uh, these are just passive. They'll just hang out out of the way if you don't need them. If you want to stick a pin through here, clip some keys on here, whatever, these are here for you for whatever you like. As I said, this is a great general purpose bag. It's great around town. You could also take this on the trail if you wanted. Uh, so it is a crossover bag. Uh, in addition to uh, carrying a laptop in this sleeve, it also does double duty uh, with a hydration bladder. It's super easy to use. Let me show you how it works. You just drop the bladder into this sleeve. And then underneath this pocket is a small loop that the bladder can fix to. And it hangs out just like that. So now for the hose, it also goes up under this pocket um, and through a sleeve that's built into the shoulder strap. So if you just kind of keep pushing this guy through, it'll come out like so. Okay, let me just throw a jacket in here so it's got a little bit of shape to it. Okay, so once this is on, you can draw this tube out, you can use it, and to stow it, you can just put it back up into the sleeve if you want, or there's a sternum anchor here, you can use a piece of Velcro or webbing to attach it to this anchor, um, or you could even just throw it underneath the sternum strap. The sternum strap is adjustable up and down, um, you can also, uh, so it, you can install it so that it draws from the right hand. You can flip it upside down so that it draws with the left hand um, or it's removable so you can take it off and not use it if you don't need it. Um, with this bag on, you can see there's a kind of a wedge that we've built into the yoke so that it comes up over the shoulders a bit. This lets it ride high, like carry high and carry nicely and conform to your back uh, without a lot of straps and buckles and adjustments. This bag is sewn and patterned to just naturally fit the body. In addition, these shoulder straps are cut in, uh, in an ergonomic curve, so they fit really well. The foam that we use inside the shoulder straps is uh, made by Zote, it's an EV50. Uh, it's a similar foam of what you'd find in running shoes. It's uh, very bouncy um, and very high quality and long lasting. It will not compress or crush over time. It's a very, very long lasting foam. Um, below that is our new harness. This is our durable, breathable back panel. Uh, so we've replaced the foam underneath with a really thick, stout 3D spacer uh, that, that has a lot of air, air permeability. And then we've covered that so that it's comfortable on the body with a 50D polyester monofilament. Uh, so this has really good abrasion resistance. It also is a little bit slick, slides on and off your body. It will not abrade sweaters or clothing, um, and it's comfortable to wear. Along the bottom of the back panel is this scuff, uh, scuff patch. This is just an extra double layer here of, uh, of the shell textile. It's cut on the bias as well as the bottom panel. These are both cut on the bias. This increases abrasion resistance right along this sewn edge, which typically is a pretty high wear area. Uh, the bottom of the bag, in addition to being bias cut, it is also padded with foam. Uh, just for protection of items that are inside. Uh, also, any points or uh, hard objects in here just won't wear the bottom out as much as it makes contact with the ground. So the shell textile we're using in this, uh, in this backpack is our new standard Civic textile. It's an 840D balanced ballistic textile. 
Uh, so balanced means that it has the same number of yarns in the warp and the weft, which gives it uh, even tear strength, tensile strength uh, in both directions. Ballistic means that the, it's a fat 840D yarn and it has a little bit of twist in it. This increases uh, abrasion resistance and also tensile strength in the fabric. Uh, and this fabric in black is solution dyed, which is a, a dyeing process that we've adopted recently, which saves uh, water and energy. You can learn more about it in a, another video we've done about solution dyed. Another nice advantage of this new textile is that it, it does not pick up dust really easily, and when it does, it's very easy to clean off. So it's a, it's a strong, durable, clean textile, um, and, it, and it is more environmentally responsible than what we were using before. Inside the bag, the lining textile, as I mentioned, is dyed standard gray for increased visibility. This also is a balanced woven nylon, uh, and it has a, both the textiles have a PU coating on the backside, which adds weather resistance uh, to the entire package. The zippers in this bag are YKK RC series. RC is YKK's luggage specific zipper. It's the most durable zipper that they make. Uh, and we also treat these custom with a DWR finish uh, so that they also are weather resistant at the zipper. We use a size 10 on the main opening, the biggest size they make, big, burly, smooth zipper. And for all the accessory pockets, we use size eight. Uh, these are excellent zippers in this bag. In addition, the logo, uh, the logo on our products is this uh, embossed piece of loop, which accepts our accessory patches for high visibility or added style. And this is our half zip 22 and 26. Our take on the classic uh, single cavity day bag. It's a simple, easy to use bag with just enough organization to keep your things together. Good around town, good on the trail, good for everything. Thanks for watching.